this word of the week this week is courage, okay? So I love the word courage. Um, I just think it relates to a lot of things in our lives during this time, but courage to come into the gym, get your workouts in and stuff like that. So um, courage is the ability to do something that you know is difficult or dangerous. We can be afraid and be willing to act. We can be afraid and be willing to act anyway. We don't let fear take over. Okay, so this is courage. So that is the definition of courage. So not letting fear take over, but doing something that you might feel that you're going to fail at anyways. Okay, so one of my favorite quotes from Michael Jordan is, it takes effort to win a game, but it takes courage to change the game. So I like to relate this a lot to the fitness industry. So, you know, luckily I have a degree in health and wellness and fitness. Um, so I feel comfortable and confident coming into the gym because I know what I'm doing, you know, but there's a lot of people out there that are intimidated. So when I was thinking of that quote, I was thinking, you know, it takes effort to pull into a gym parking lot or, um, you know, have the courage to maybe sign up for a new session that you don't know what you're getting yourself into. So that takes effort, but it takes courage to actually show up and participate in a team setting because we're fearful that we might fail. Um, I did a Rachel Hollis, um, rise seminar last weekend and she talked, you know, a lot of her talks were about courage and all the speakers there. And it was just really encouraging. And one thing that really stuck with me is that if you think about kids, right, when they're young and, you know, they're learning to ride their bike for the first time, like that takes courage, but kids don't second guess that they just get on their bike. They fall down, they get back up, they do it again. Right. Or you see them trying to do handstands or, the crazy things that kids do that us as adults are like, oh my gosh, I would be fearful for my life to try that. But they're just wired different where they have so much courage built in to them to try different things. And so, you know, my mindset is why not try something or have courage to do it? And if I fail, that's okay. Because if anything, it's a learning experience from what I failed from. And I want you guys to take this into consideration. You know, when we come back into the gym, a lot of times when I see the athletes lifting, like, I feel like you can do so much more, like weight on the bar, but you're scared to do it because you're scared that you're going to fail. So I encourage all of you, you know, the next time you're able to come into the gym, you feel comfortable, find the courage to push yourself as hard as possible. And I have no doubt that after this, we're all going to come back, you know, ready to go more than ever because we miss out on this part of our life for so long that we will have the courage to dig deep and really push ourselves to our full potential. And that courage can be something as simple as putting five more pounds on each side of the bar to see if you can do it. And then once you do it, you're like, oh my gosh, you know, I surpassed that. I'm going to push myself to try something different. So don't be afraid of failure. Okay. Find the courage to dig deep, even as a parent, you know, it takes a lot of courage to be a parent and parent our kids, maybe different ways than some of their friends are saying their parents are parenting them, but find courage within yourself to really push yourself to be, um, your full potential as the crave athlete and just life, um, in general. So take that. Let's find courage this week through the rest of the week. Courage, you know, maybe whatever circumstances you have in your life, just find the courage to be best you 